John Coates from RF Safe, and here I'm going to explain to you the pieces that come in the um, iPhone 6 Plus, 6S, and all of our other uh, cell phone safety packages. Um, very important because it's not just one accessory um, that can really keep you uh, safe from, from radiation, especially in the types of usage environments and, and different places and different ty types of ways that we use it. Um, and, uh, and of course, I want to reintroduce uh, our friend over here, uh, Dead Steve Jobs. And uh, of course, he's here because uh, he um, withdrew the, uh, the app from the iPhone store that actually alerted iPhone users to extensive, uh, excessive radi uh, amounts of radiation, which in my opinion put millions of people's uh, lives at risk. Uh, that app again is TalkOn, T-A-W-K-O-N, uh, great if you're an Android user because it gives you a lot of information. But let's go over these here. Um, the way that the phone case is used, it, it simply snaps into the phone. Um, so you just go ahead and pull it out, pull it in. Um, it's a very durable plastic. You can see testimonials where they've even actually survived motorcycle crashes. Um, so um, you know, please visit rfsafe.com and just look up a motorcycle crash and check it out. Um, it's pretty impressive. Uh, you know, you always see drop tests, but you know how often do you really see a, a good, uh, you know, a good motorcycle accident? But anyway, the RFC keeps the phone very, very well protected, especially for a nice, good screen blow. Um, but um, so here we have the case. Um, you know, it, it's also functional as a little stand. But now, when you're texting, um, you would go ahead and turn it around like this because you've already achieved a critical distance between your body and the device. Remember that. It followed the radiation follows the, the square um, law of distance here, in which if we're a quarter inch away from the source, okay, um, that right there, if we move from a quarter an inch away from the source to a full inch away, um, a quarter of an inch being four, and then four times four is 16, so it would be a 16 times um, less intensity at one inch than it would be at you know the source. So that's exponential. Um, you can't quote me on this, but it's going to be approximately 10,000 times less intensity per foot away from your body. So distance is your biggest friend at all point in time. Um, so if you are texting, go ahead and just flip it around to the back and um, you know text away. Um, you've already achieved that and now you have the shielding between your hand and the phone which is of course the part of your body which is going to take the brunt of the radiation. Um, but let's go ahead and talk about what some of these other pieces are for. We've actually demonstrated the effectiveness of just how well they block radiation in other videos. Um, please check them out. But let's look at the pieces that come in this kit. Um, one, we have an air tube headset. Um, this utilizes distance, okay, because basically when we plug in a a wire into a into a, a, a transmitter, um, that wire is going to act as an aerial, and you can see that video on our site as well. Um, so basically, when you just plug in a regular headset, um, you actually uh, this right here is now going to radiate the same energy um, and microwave energy that this cell phone does. Now, once it reaches these speakers it drops it off to an air tube, okay, which following the, the law of, of, of distance, of the square uh, root of distance there, inverse square law um, of distance actually. So um, by following that rule, we can see that we've gained a six inches of distance between our head and the device. And then these just simply just slip right into your ears. Um, now we, we take this a step further, and this is because of course, um, I don't know if you've read much about the website, but. Uh, me and my wife lost a child back in 1995 related to RF radiation, so um, it wasn't cell phones, it was an occupational environmental hazard, but um, and she sat in front of a 3.5 watt microwave radios all day, but um, it's very important when installing a ferrite bead, is what I've just installed is one of the pieces which we already actually add to the headset for you, and that is because it needs to be above the plug, and this is very important because the flume that surrounds the phone, the radiation, can actually bypass the ferrite and still go up the wire. Now, I'm gonna be completely honest with you. This is not as big of a solution as what so many people think it is. Like I know uh, Joel over at uh, Berkeley um, actually suggest suggested a, a ferrite bead, an iron bead as he put it, um, as uh, protection from wired headsets. But that was only good 
prior to us getting into what we consider, um, well, as you can see, this this phone right here is working on Sprint LTE network. Um, there's also Sprint Spark. The gigahertz we're talking about into the range of, you know, up to 2.6 gigahertz these days. Um, ferrites, when um, were peer reviewed in a study, um, which Joel actually refers to, were, were done back when the um, Frequencies were basically 850, 950, and 1750 megahertz. That would have been, uh, you know, GSM, CDMA, and TDMA networks. Um, but so we have a ferrite bead um, that works in combination with this, that, that can work as a sun block. Now, now, in the higher frequencies, is it effective? No. Okay, in the lower frequencies, when you drop in the 3G and 2G zones, um, GSM zones, for instance, um, yes, the ferrite um, can be effective. Um, but uh, we add it because we want to get rid of whatever frequencies that we can, so it is part of the package. Um, a lot of people might have been really wondering what this little piece of plastic that came with it is for. And I'm going to tell you that this actually came about because of uh, one of our employees out of a daughter um, that um, you know has the phone as her nightstand as a, an alarm clock, and of course uh, doesn't turn off any of the apps or anything. And I don't know if you have children, but sometimes it's a little difficult to get them to to follow the rules um, for Burnham, uh, per se. But as, as what this is for, we've already mentioned that the rears and sides of this case are transparent to microwaves, okay? And we've demonstrated in the other videos just how effective this front shielding is. So we always want, if we're gonna stick it in our pockets, this front face in our bodies. If we're gonna use it to our ear, we want this front face in our bodies. Even if you have it on speakerphone, you can sit there and talk with it you know, the shielding between you and your body, um, because this is gonna deflect the radiation. Um, now this little, this little piece of plastic is a very simple secondary stand in order to where, let's just say you're at the office waiting for calls to come in all day, um, have no reason for it to be laying on its side because like I said, the sides aren't protected. You need the shielding between you and a device to, for it to work. Um, this little piece of plastic, um, cost me about a penny to add, so I wanted to, especially for parents that have children that um, you might have been able to get them to use the case, but it's still being used as an alarm near their bed. It now, or even the guy or, or, or women that are at work that are just have them on their desk, now you can at least set it and direct the shield to you because I've done several tests, um, some of them which are online, where even some of the lower radiation phones at certain times will give out a really big burst. And when laying flat, that big burst goes unchecked. Um, when using our little tiny kickstand here, um, you can set it on your desk and at least wait for a phone call to come in and, and there you go. So there's our fourth piece. Um, the case is number one. Um, the headset is number two. The ferrite bead is number three. And of course our little kickstand that we just mentioned is number four. Um, thank you for your time and uh, be sure to check out the RF Safe website. There's lots of information on there. We've been online since 1998, um, so there's a lot of literature up there to read. And um, we look forward to uh, helping you uh, use your cell phone uh, as safe as possible and to protect you and your family. And uh, God bless and uh, have a good evening. Thanks for listening. Bye bye.